Hey guys, Clumsy here, and welcome back to ATS Season 2. And welcome to Pink Panther's Truck. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of this color, but this is going where we want it to, so let's go with it. And it's a Kenworth T680, and I want to mix up the trucks a bit, so yes, we're going with this. <laughs> we'll be inside anyway, so we won't see the pink most of the time, but in terms of screenshots, we'll have to do it. I do like the trailer though, this night transportation trailer. <clears throat> it must be one of those uh, trailers from Andre 383. Anyway, in this episode, we are going from... Uh, we're still in New Mexico. We're going from Alamogordo to Clovis, which is around 248 miles. Shouldn't be that bad, right? And we'll be taking the... Actually, we'll be taking multiple US routes here. And I'll be keeping on the GPS. What I wanted to test in this episode, though, in particular, is I activated the mod. I downloaded the mod from Sipinho, the real traffic density and ratio I think it's called 1.0 for ATS not bad so with the Sipinho actually just recently bought ATS and he already started modding so he's been a long time um, modder for ETS2 but he came into the ATS world recently and uh, probably decided that he wanted to change some of the stuff so what he did is he created a traffic density mod for ATS to make things more realistic in terms of density and ratio he even has graphs and everything that makes uh, that shows how the traffic reacts in default versus how it reacts. Oh crap, That's, we're gonna hit that rail, I think. I think we might. Let's prevent that from happening, shall we? We'll have to climb the curb, but uh, as long as we're safe, as long as we don't hit anything hardcore. Wow, that's a pretty nice truck. Is that a Freightliner or Gozi? Okay, there. That looks better, I think. Good. Alright. Yeah, so what he did was he increased the ratio and density of the cars. And he actually made it vary across different times of the day. So, for example, when it's rush hour, then there should be more, much more vehicles on the road. And uh, that's what we're seeing right now. It is currently... What time it is? It's currently... Is there a clock here? 1.16 p.m. and you can see all the cars and trucks here. Yeah. Now I still have Jessica uh, mod turned on because I tried turning it off. Um, I still have them on, all of them. AI packs, traffic packs, uh, truck packs, cargo packs, everything from Jessica. Military cargo packs as well. I initially thought of disabling them because um, Jazzy Cat's models are not known to be very performance friendly. They're very resource intensive because they have too many polygons, too, too large textures or whatever, but they hurt performance a lot. But they do add a lot to the game, so if your system can handle them, then it's, it's like a good trade. And I think our system can more or less handle it. And um, I was thinking of turning them off because I was going to activate that real traffic density mod. But then when I tried it out, it was a bit... Are there all of those prices? It's a very nice trailer. Um, but when I tried it out, the, the vehicles were a bit repetitive because there weren't too many. There weren't a lot to choose from with only the default cars and trucks. So I decided to enable both the real traffic density from Sipinho, from Sip and the jazzy cat mods as well so that means our frame rates might go reparuni later on as we enter a city but um, it should result into a much better feel like when it's rush hour there should be traffic there should be a build-up and i've experienced that a bit especially during road random road events like when there are, when there are road works on the highway you'll really see the cars building up and you'll have to be uh, even more attentive to not hit the, the, the build up, the traffic building up because of the cars. Almost hit that guy. That's fine. Why did we have to go around anyway? That 
the GPS was a bit weird there. Yeah, so actually here in this scene, in this part, you can feel a bit of slowdown already. It's still kind of smooth, not 60 frames, but still smooth. But yeah, there's a bit of slowdown because you can see how many cars there are, how many varieties there are. And that's what the real traffic density mod does. So it makes things a bit more livable, more lived in rather. So the feeling is it's the, the city is not empty and you're all the only one who's driving around. There are actually so many people and you have to squeeze yourself in. Which makes things a lot more interesting, to be honest. Is it our turn? It's no one's turn. There we go. Thank you. Oh crap. Nothing happened. It wasn't me. <laughs> okay, good. This is a bit heavy, huh? 21 tons. And we only have a 13 horsepower engine, I think. I think. Also, something might not be matching. Because I think I do have an 18 speed. It's a Roadrunner. He appears more than once here in New Mexico, which kind of makes sense because you guys told me that guy is like the, the state mascot, isn't it? So I think I have the wrong setup here. So I have a 13 speed Eaton Fuller in this truck, but my transmission in the controls is for an 18 speed. So things might not be lining up properly. I'm not sure how it works actually. But we'll see. Can I have unto, up to 8 here? Yeah, 6. Yeah, only up to 6 gear. See? So it's not matching. So what I'll do... One sec. I'll have to change this. And by the way, yeah, I forgot to show you. Look, I got this... How do you call it? I unlocked this. This is the event from the World of Trucks. The... What is it called? Aqueduct Sunset. When you take over 300,000 pounds of cargo, double trailers, and uh, sh uh, deliver them from one city to another, 300,000 in total, 300,000 pounds in total, you unlock this uh, scenery and it looks very beautiful. It was worth it. And it was a pleasure driving there anyway, so it wasn't really like much of a grind. That one, Ethan Fuller, 13 speeds. That should make things. A lot more app. Oh, wow, that looks so good. The pink panther pink though. <laughs> Not so much a fan. Okay. Which gear am I in? 6H. Alright, let's go with that. Perfect. Now it works. As I intended. Also, one question I wanted to ask you guys. We've almost finished um, exploring New Mexico. But, so, where do you want to go next? Do you want to explore Nevada and California? Because if you, we look at the map, those are still undiscovered. We did start in Arizona, but we didn't really explore much of it. So that's basically still unexplored. What we only explored mostly has been New Mexico because it's the new thing, it's understandable. But yeah, we we have a lot more to explore. California, Nevada, and Arizona. So do you want to go there? Or do you want me to download the Coast to Coast, uh, Viva Mexico, Canal Dream, and get there? Now let me tell you the, the advantages and disadvantages, right? If we stick to the SCS default roads, well, it's more stable. We're less prone to uh, bugs and uh, we're less prone to um, version updates. But I mean, that's not a big deal. For me, the big deal is if we stick to the default roads, in general, it might look better. There might be more science in there because SCS is hardcore when it comes to uh, <coughs> putting in science. With the uh, coast to coast, some roads might look a bit plain. Some areas are pretty good, like uh, Florida and Viva Mexico. The, the, the winding roads, the mountains, the, the hairpins that we'll encounter, those are definitely something exciting. But some areas might not be like New Mexico level. 
depending on when they built it. So it's a bit of a trade-off, but with Coast to Coast in New Mexico and kind of dream, definitely we'll have more roads to explore. At the cost of some roads, might not be looking that good. That's the trade-off I'm thinking of. But you guys let me know what you think. I'm okay either way exploring California, Nevada, Arizona or exploring coast to coast or Viva Mexico. So if any suggestions, if you have any suggestions, just let me know and uh, sp do specify which you want, right? Which state, which exact area. If you have something specific you want, if you have in mind, let me know. If you want to go de to Death Valley in California, is it in California or Nevada? If you want to go to Death Valley and see that self-parking AI, let me know as well. Oh, and this is a nice uh, scene. This is a nice view. Maybe we can take a photo here. Because this is the intersection with three different uh, gas stops in a motel. So you can see this very busy junction here. All the trucks, all the gas stations we have... Uh, what is this named? Sequis Italiano, Italian cuisine. We have a K. We have whatever that is. We have another K and then we have a motel. Not sure why that is, but <laughs> fine. All right, maybe we can take a photo here near, near the billboard. And let's try to maybe say that this is our truck. That looks much better than our pink panther over there. <laughs> Alright, let's let's see how this should work. You can go 380 like that. Hmm, we can work with that. Or something closer maybe. A drone shot. Yeah, something like this probably would work. Let's try one of those. And let's try also somewhere. Hmm. <laughs> Somewhere like this, maybe. The chaos. Yeah, that kind of looks cool as well. With all the different trucks and uh, intersections merging together. Yeah, that kind of looks nice. Good. That would also be a good representation of the real traffic density. Seeing how busy things are. I actually like the truck varieties that I'm seeing in the AI. It's very exciting and this is why I chose to keep Jazzy Cat's mods even if they cost a bit of performance because the, the variety of cars really add a lot. I mean with the real traffic density with all those cars popping up on the road you'd want them to be varied because there were some points when I just kept the default SES vehicles they were a bit repetitive already. Like, okay, it's that car again. Okay, it's that FedEx van again. Okay, it's that Greyhound bus again. But I think with Jazzy Cats, you won't even probably notice that things have been repeating already because there, there are so many ch kinds to choose from. And the game has like a lot more in its uh, repertoire. <laughs> yeah, so I have... Uh, you can check the mods list in the video description for more details. But yes, um, I have the, the SIPS uh, Real Traffic Density 1.0, Jazzy Cat's uh, AI Car Pack, the Classic Cars AI Pack, the Truck Pack, the Painted Truck Pack. I don't think we have a PDF version here because this is ATS. I have a Bus Pack, Mexican Bus Pack that's only available in Mexico. Not New Mexico, but actually Mexico, Mexico. And I have uh, the trailers and cargo, all from Jazzy Cat. I've been reading a lot on the SES forums and they, uh, they said that in terms of number of models or uh, the complexity of models, Jazzy Cat's um, models are pretty performance unfriendly. <laughs> They're very performance intensive, like usually you would have this LODs or level of details basically what that means is if you're not familiar you have a 3d model for example you see that AI car from a distance to improve performance to make it better optimized so the game doesn't render everything every time 
they make it that if something is in the distance you probably don't see it in detail anyway right you can like if, it, if that truck that truck is so small you probably won't notice the different grills the different uh what is this why is that oh that's a dead end i i, I kind of noticed that that's a real dead end by the way it's not a secret road i remember that from the stream but yeah so the concept of lod or lots if you don't know that is if something is in the distance you don't really notice the finer details like how many headlights does that car have how many grills and how is this does it have a, a, a working like a, a, um, a realistic plate number you know, things like that you probably won't notice so what they do is they actually have like replaced the model they have different versions of that car model for example and if it's in the distance they load just the pretty basic model the less detailed model as it goes nearer they replace it with something more detailed because you will be able to see more details yeah like that and once it goes farther away again then it, they, they replace it again with the uh, a simpler version because you probably won't notice the difference anyway and the trick there is to make it make it a right balance that you the, the the user doesn't really notice the difference that's the perfect LOD so the the effect if it's done right is performance will be greatly improved because they load less complicated models and at the same time there is no uh, penalty there is no uh, cost to the visual effect to the, to the visual feel because it's not noticeable because it, they're so small like that don't really notice all those minor details so uh, net is it improves performance that's what LODs are for now they said and correct me here if, I, if I'm wrong I'm not sure how to measure them myself Jazzy Cat's models are pretty are super detailed they have uh, I don't know high polygon count or something but it requires a lot from the system and uh, e they don't Hmm. they say they don't have LODs or the LODs are like the similar models so we can maybe assume that there are no LODs around loads so even from a distance it's still loading the full model and that means there is no performance improvement for vehicles that are farther so basically you load everything regardless of how small or how large they are and that means a huge cost to performance and that's why if you're running a not so powerful pc and if you're really hungry for frames if you really need those extra frames try removing jazzy cats mods and see how it affects you for us i think it's not that big of an effect because our system can handle it so far maybe in cities we do feel the slowdown but here it's still pretty smooth right so i don't think it's a big issue for us but if you have a less powerful pc the first thing you can do well the first thing is to change your graphic settings but if you know your graphic settings are optimal and you're still having those slowdowns you can remove the jazzy cat mods i think that should improve your uh, your uh, frame rate a bit right and then just add them one after another to uh, to see if they do cause the slowdown and maybe get the right mix just maybe add in a few jazzy cat mods until your uh, until your system can handle so it's a bit of a trial and error thing but yeah if you can handle it if you can handle his mods me oh man look at the variety of cars here i haven't even noticed a single car repeating there probably are but there are too many to for my brain to process all just even that motorcycle comes in different colors comes in different shapes different types yeah, a pickup, a sedan, an SUV, a truck, a garbage truck, and also some of the vehicles coming from um, SES themselves, like the fire truck and all those things. Now, unfortunately, I'm not noticing any road events. Normally, the road events would be plentiful in this case, but I guess we are traveling in a yeah, we're traveling a US route, not an interstate. So that's maybe why there are less road events. The, the road events in interstates are plentiful, definitely. 
that's a great hand pass from SES I think because even when I disabled Jazzy Cats they were still there if I remember correctly look at the traffic here now that's real traffic right <laughs> that's what the single round of traffic light uh, does a red light the build up what time is it anyway yeah it's 5 p.m. it's almost rush hour so it's kind of the beginning of rush hour also I'm not sure if it's the same in the US and in other countries but in the Philippines where I'm originally from okay maybe I need to go to the left here you know I should only merge there but I mean, it's not like there are any cars here should be turning left here all right good yeah now our system is slowing down because of all these cars but I mean little a few fewer frames but still very playable right <clears throat> and as an effect we get a much more realistic scenario look at the traffic all the way up there okay they're going <clears throat> what was I saying oh man I forgot oh crap <laughs> let me try and remember maybe I can remember I was talking about Jazzy Cat I was talking I, I know I, re I switched to a different topic but I can't remember anyway let's let it go for now for now maybe I'll remember it later on but yeah you can really see the variety of cars and I like it and the realism good I think we have that set oh yeah the random road events the random road events are really really good together with SIP's real traffic density because imagine the the type of event that has the roadworks if, if you remember that and there and there would you would see initially you would see a sign an orange sign on both ends of the road on both sides of the road and it would say roadworks ahead right and then the next orange sign you would see is like a merging lane where to merge to the left or to the right and then after that you get the actual uh, truck which tells you to go left or right and then the actual road works how it works with uh, real traffic density is when you see the second sign like first sign you would see is the road works right the second sign you would see is the lane merging notice when you see the lane merging sign usually right after that or even before the traffic is already building up so you won't even need to fully rely on the signs you could use because you'd see the the traffic is already there and you'll notice okay the right lane is building up so it's probably merging to the left that's probably how it is so yeah that's that's how things are with the uh, real traffic density and i think i like it it's very realistic how the traffic lights, the roadworks, the accidents have an effect on the, the buildup of traffic. It gives more of a headache, so it's not a perfect world anymore, but it is a more realistic world. So I think if you want realism, there you have it. Am I doing the right thing? Yes, I think I am. Okay, good. Not even sure where we are. Let me see. Okay. Clovis is this way, correct? We are just passing Roswell and going straight. Yeah, one more disadvantage I, I remember is when if we if we activate coast to coast, Viva Mexico, Canada Dream, all those map mods, we won't be able to use the Google Maps mod anymore because um, the the zoom will not work properly and uh, we'll have to change priorities. And if you put the Google Maps navigation below the map mods, oh, here we go. Then you, the, the color will disappear. It will not be blue anymore. Look at this. That's the lane merge, right? And there's the traffic already. Okay, it's not that bad yet, but yeah, it's not that bad here. 35. Because this is a small road works. There's a much bigger one in the interstate. And the traffic build up there is much more much much more here it's still uh, pretty safe don't tell me it's going to rain again 
No, I don't think so. The sky is dark here on this side though. Man, foggy weather skies for the wind and colors. Just, just don't look at the truck so much. The Pink Panther truck. <laughs> Maybe here we can see the, the build up of traffic on the other side with these roadworks. Let's take a look. Oh, this is quite a long one. This is quite a long one. There you go. You can see the traffic build up. Yeah, all the way, all the way. The right side is building up all the way there until the first sign on the road works. Actually, right? <laughs> that is pretty cool. I think that's a bit more realistic. Because when you have roadworks like that, then it will really cause an impact on the traffic flow. And it will really cause a bit of traffic on that part. So you feel it more in that case. Although, admittedly, the, the AI is not the best when it comes to merging. But I think SES has improved the AI a lot. The merging, the merging uh, logic is a lot better now compared to before. Because now they actually try to go ahead of you sometimes if you're a bit too slow so I think they have been improving it little by little and let's try to uh, race this train I remember there was a mod which do basically doubles the length of the train I haven't downloaded it yet but maybe I should huh that would look a lot better 70 miles okay let's keep it 70 man beautiful sunset Ooh, pretty nice view. I have to keep my eyes on the road though. Because of the traffic build up. Can't just stick to the road limits, the speed limits. You have to be aware of the cars in front of you now. There we go. 15? Oh, because of the train. Okay, I see. And did you guys see the rainbow? Did you guys see the rainbow? There it is. Yeah. Rainbow Skybox. Beautiful. So that's why people are super slow. Because of this 15 mile speed limit. No train? No train. Good. The magic of Macy's. I'm not even sure how to distinguish anymore Jazzy Cat's models from the default SES ones. Both of them are really good, but yeah, in terms of performance, of course SES wins hands down. Because they know what to do, they know how to optimize it. But yeah, if you want variety, go with Jazzy Cat. And try if your system can handle it, if you can bear the frame rate loss, it's more than enough. It's more than worth it, I'd say. If, unless it makes your game unplayable, then that's a different thing altogether. And let's turn on our lights. Ooh. GG. Man. Hope everyone's fine there. Yeah, you can see the number of cars here. Right? It looks pretty busy now, this road. Which I would assume is how it should be in real life. Maybe it's even busier. We'll have all these cars and trucks just passing each other another road works here let me slow down already merging to the left does someone squeeze in look look at that car yeah I was able to squeeze in didn't wait for me fully but the other trucks they don't just blindly merge in they actually see you and uh, try to respect you so that's very good I love these road events. This kind of actually makes me want to drive in ATS more than in ATS2. Because in ATS2 currently, the next-gen Scania is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. It's the best truck ever. It's my favorite truck now. But no Pro Mods. Because it's 1.30 beta. And uh, Pro Mods will have to do a lot of adjusting. Wow, another one. And without Pro Mods, the number of roads, the variety of roads is a bit limited and you can't 
drive endlessly and just enjoy it would become a bit re more repetitive than usual in ATS it should be the same if you don't have map mods but in ATS there are random road events right? random events so it kind of makes up for it like that one adds a lot of excitement to the game what the heck maybe the Domino's delivery is late <laughs> imagine if you ordered Domino's and the guy that comes in front of your door is that truck <laughs> special delivery <laughs> instead of a usual motorcycle that would be kind of hard wouldn't it good oh, hey he's here again freaky maybe he heard me <laughs> maybe he got insulted with that what i said it's a speed limit here 30 all right man it's just not matter the view oh this is a nice rail station it's pretty cool oh crap i think i should have gone left there okay i don't think i'll make it so i'll I would just go straight and go left at the next intersection so we won't block anybody. So I'm a good guy that way. Look at that. First time I saw that. Burgers that are actually. Oh, it's being demolished, it seems. That's a nice twist. Yeah, that's a nice twist. Blake's lot of burgers it's probably going to be replaced by Burger King for sale yeah it does look for sale if anyone will buy it though that's a different topic altogether okay, let's try to merge in here good and here beautiful I really like these turning lanes they're very efficient like it, it feels weird when you look when you think about it because you have something a car right in front of you and it feels like you're going to collide and hit each other but I mean if you're both turning left then there's no harm right I like the design there and I like that SES has that compatible is able to do that in its roads yeah like that so it feels like you're going to hit, it, hit each other in the last minute you turn it feels like something out from a Hollywood movie <laughs> okay I'm going to turn left here again almost there though oh it's our turn I think we'll miss it oh crap yeah won't make it it's fine let's just wait we are within the line so that's good not hassling anybody is there any discoverable here? We'll do a quick check. I don't think so. Yeah, there is nothing. Okay, there is a truck stop there, which I maybe should unlock, but it's a bit far. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, and that's also why I was able to do the the thing with the World of Trucks events. Hauling 300,000 pounds of double trailer cargo because the random events really are a game changer. They, they add so much more to the game. It's, it makes everything exciting. It's not just a plain road that you know. You always always have to keep your eyes peeled and attentive to the traffic. And on top of everything else, foggy weather, real traffic density, jazzy cats, packs. And maybe even map mods well map mods won't work in world of trucks yeah and with everything else it just makes the overall experience that exciting you know it's never the same thing it's never a dull moment even if this it's the same roads the same trailer it's the same delivery it's never exactly the same you get something different each time that and that makes it much worth it now, I wonder how we'll park this. Okay. 
Where do you need it? Okay, so I'll have to reverse. No, no. I think I can do something like this. Let me see. Am I gonna hit that? I think I'm going to hit that, but... Okay, let's reverse a little. Alright, that works better. And then, swerve here. Make sure not to hit anything. I think that's good. I think that's good. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna climb that curb. Just a little. That's fine. A swift trailer. Aha, that's mine. <laughs> Clumsy the swift driver. Oh, I think I'm gonna hit the one in front. I do have a nose. <laughs> Let's not take the risk. Okay, that should be okay, I think. Swifttrans.com. Okay, we're not gonna make it again. A little more adjustment. Hope our trailer can manage. Don't you give up on me. Am I hitting? Am I hitting the truck? No, but I am... No, I'm not hitting anything. Unless it's the bounding box. I think it's the bounding box. Alright, let's... Get a bit more. There we go. Yeah, the bounding box is just a bit mad. There we go. That's perfect. So we're on the opposite side now, and all we have to do now is reverse. Not a super easy thing, but should be manageable. There we go. space there on my right so let's just keep this angle actually I think I need to be sharper there a little bit sharper and here we're good a lot sharper though a little bit more yeah, I'm on the wrong side. That's okay, we can correct it later. A bit too much, but we can correct it by going straight like so. That works good. There we go it out like that and bring it back there we go not too shabby yeah that's nice pink panther does the job <laughs> all right there we go excellent 246 miles we do have that please level up yes good perfect okay so let's get long distance let's get more of those unlock more of those jobs and then let's just have a look again at this view oh beautiful aqueduct sunset and then we should be able to go and buy our own truck now let's see i think it, that was in kenworth wasn't it so we'll do this next episode if it's possible. Oh, that one. That is... Yeah, we can we can say now. Because normally it would say, like, yeah, available from level 13. This one works now, so we'll be getting a Freightliner FLB next episode. And we can even get access with... I'm not sure what really that changes, but let's go with that. So yeah, we, we won't have too many options, but fine at least we have something right and we do have a detroit diesel engine it's it's the best i love that engine sound all right we'll try that later uh, what 
is that? Blue and white FLB skin. Ooh, that's actually pretty nice. Clumsy skin. I only have access to 10 speeds. Crap. Alright, fine. Eaton Fuller 10 speeds. That should be fine. Alright, we'll do that next episode. So finally, we'll have our own truck. And you guys let me know which mod you like. If you like to go with map mods, like Viva Mexico, Coast to Coast, Kinda Dream, or we stick with the default map and explore the other areas. Because we haven't really done that in this season. So let me know what you think. And if you did enjoy the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates. In the meantime, this is the Clumsy Geek signing off. Thank you for watching, guys, and have a nice day. See you in the next one. Looking forward to your comments. Clumsy Trucking, and bye-bye.